we're loading the main bearing halves into the, into the main bearing caps. You'll notice there's a notch cut into the cap itself and there's a corresponding tab on the bearing. That tab and notch just fit together like that. And then you could just push the bearing down flush with the surfaces. That bearing would be ready to install in the engine and torque down. To use the plastic gauge to measure oil clearance in the bearing, just take a piece, cut it to the width of the bearing, open up the paper, inside you'll find a small piece of green plastic. This happens to be the one to three thousandths clearance range um, plastic gauge. And it's just a small diameter piece of plastic that when captured in between the crankshaft and the bearing, it, it squishes out to and measures the exact clearance that's there. We just lay it here on the bearing, or more accurately, lay it on the crankshaft itself on the journal and take the cap. This is number one. And we would install it right on top of the plastic gauge. And then torque these down to the required torque spec, loosen them up again, take it off, take a look at what the plastic tells us as far as oil clearance. Now we'll be able to compare the plastic on the that's uh, squished out to the to the size of the of the chart here on the on the paper from the plastic gauge. So you can see here that the uh, the bearing cap the bearing squished this plastic, which was normally a small little section like here in the middle, squished it out flat. We can tell by comparing it to the gauge here on the uh, envelope that that the plastic came in, that it's just a tiny bit smaller than the three thousandths. Our specification for oil clearance on this engine is 1.7 thousandths to 4.7, or in other words, 17 ten thousandths to 47 ten thousandths. So we're within those specifications. This just, like I said, just a little over three thousandths, possibly 35 ten thousandths. So we're, we're well within the, the limits of the spec on, this, on this, uh, this particular journal. We'll check each and every journal to make sure that they're all within tolerances and uh, before we get ready to put the rods in.